Hello, this is Vec. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos today on the beautiful and very historic city of Havana here in Cuba. I'm actually in the colonial part of Havana. I'm in Habana Vieja in the old city of Havana. Now, I have been here for seven days and I have not even seen half of the sites of this wonderful old city here in Cuba. So in this particular documentary, I'm going to show you the most important historic sites around the old city. And here's a list of what we're going to see in this documentary. We're going to see museums, historic squares, historic hotels, forts and castles, the waterfront, palaces, and colonial mansions. So let's walk around the old city of Havana. Let's enjoy the site. Let's enjoy the history of this incredible city. Let's do it. Start your tour from the magnificent Plaza de la Catedral from the square of the cathedral here in Habana Vieja in old Havana. At the northern end of the square you will find the Cathedral de la Habana, the Cathedral of Havana, completed around 1780. And around the cathedral you will find some magnificent palaces completed in the 1700s with beautiful fronts. So walk around the cathedral, enjoy its beautiful baroque front, go inside, it's open all week, enjoy the beautiful architecture inside and outside, and then walk around the cathedral and enjoy the magnificent palaces that surround it. It gets very, very crowded here, so take your time walking around and enjoying all the beautiful buildings and palaces of this absolutely magnificent square. Well, you know what? In my introduction, I read to you a list of the different sites we're going to visit and I forgot three very important categories. Number one, the bars here in the old city of Havana. Number two, we're going to listen to a lot of Cuban music and finally we're going to visit a street art shop. Let's continue with our documentary. And your next stop, without a doubt, in Habana Vieja, in the old part of Havana, should be this wonderful Castillo, this fort, this Spanish fort. This is Castillo de la Real Fuerza, one of the oldest Spanish forts in the Americas, built in the mid-1500s. It will cost you three American dollars, three pesos, to enter, and it is well worth it. It has a wonderful museum inside, all in Spanish, unfortunately, but it is an absolutely beautiful sight to tour. There is a moat, a water canal, that was originally constructed for defensive purposes and well preserved right there. And this is the main entrance of the Castillo. By far one of the most magnificent sites here in old Havana. So don't miss the opportunity. Make sure you come here and you dedicate at least an hour of your time walking around. And right there in the distance, you can see the Castillo de la Real Fuerza that we just visited. And by the entrance, we find this beautiful column here. And behind it, a beautiful Greek temple with Doric columns. Let's go a little closer. Here is the temple. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at it. This temple was erected in 1828 on the site where 
The first mass was held in 1519 by the Spanish. This is where Havana was established, right here on this spot. Inside the temple, if you pay a, a peso, you will see three large paintings by the French painter Vermay, V-E-R-M-A-Y, who died in 1833. But here's a view of this magnificent temple up close. There's a category of sites that you will enjoy visiting in Old Havana in Habana Vieja is the parks, the small squares. Here's one of the most beautiful ones. This is Plaza de Armas. This is the Square of the Arms located right in front of Castillo de la Real Fuerza. This is the oldest square in Old Havana, dates from the 1520s. This is where the military governor lived in Castillo de la Real Fuerza held military parades. The statue that you see in front of me is of Carlos Manuel de Cespedes who set the road for Cuban independence in 1868. That uh, statue was erected in 1955 and it replaced a very unpopular statue of King Ferdinand VII from Spain. It's a beautiful square, beautifully, and park that is, beautifully landscaped with fountains, as you can see, very peaceful, very safe, and it's surrounded by beautiful palaces, including the Castillo, the La Real Fuerza that we saw, and also the Museo El Temple that we saw just a few seconds ago. But let's go check one of the palaces just from the outside so you can see how beautiful the whole area is. And uh, here's one of the magnificent palaces that surround Plaza de Armas, the Square of the Arms. This is Palacio Secundo Cabo, built in the early 1700s for the vice governor of Habana, of Havana. And it looks absolutely magnificent. This is one of the palaces. By the way, there's another palace right behind me. The Castillo de la Real Fuerza is right behind it. Okay, I have been allowed one minute to come in and videotape the courtyard of this magnificent palace. You can see the beautiful columns and the arches all around. Magnificent. And then if we raise the camera, we can see the second floor right up there. To my right is uh, Piazza de Armas, the square of the arms. And here in front of us, directly in front of us, is Palacio Secundo Cabo that we saw just a few moments ago. I wanted to show you another palace here in the corner so you can get an idea of the magnificent architecture of the palaces of Havana. Look at this one. It is absolutely stunning, the architecture of these buildings here in old Havana. So if you were a visitor, you came to Havana, let's say around 1800s, you would have been absolutely amazed at the wealth of this city. And uh, here is a beautiful view of the courtyard of Casa de los Arabes, the house of the Arabs, which has nothing really to do with the Arabs except for the fact that it was designed as a palace in the 18th century in the Arab style. You can see the tiles on the walls, the fountain in the courtyard, 
the beautiful arches here. One of the most popular palaces and mansions to visit just south of Plaza de Armas on the way to the Plaza of San Francisco de Assis. I am now in the very busy and noisy square of San Francisco of Assisi, Plaza de San Francisco de Assis. And here we see the beautiful fountain of lions designed by a, an Italian architect in the 1830s. If we go around this beautiful fountain, we see the commercial center right there. This building was completed in 1909 and this is where the commodities center was for a few decades. It now houses the offices of companies that are involved in joint ventures with Cuba. I'm now standing in the middle of uh, the Plaza de San Francisco de Assis. Now, I assume you came here around 1650 or so, and you came to this square. Well, you really had no choice but to come to this square because this is where you would arrive at when you first came to Havana. You see to my right is the port of Havana and this is where the Spanish galleons would uh, come to before they go back to Spain from the Indies or on the way to the Indies from Spain. And right here in the center of the square there was a very loud, very noisy uh, market, the very first market of Havana. Right there behind me you see the commercial center I just showed you, the Lonja del Comercio. In front of me now you're going to see the Church of San Francisco de Assis that was built in the early 1600s. So you had a very, very busy market, very crowded market, lots of galleons parked just about 20 meters away, merchandise being loaded and offloaded, all sorts of noise, traders. So this was the life of Havana in the 1600s. It would have been something absolutely remarkable to witness coming here in the Caribbean from Spain or returning to Spain from any other place in the Indies. What a beautiful place to come to. It is noisy now because of a highway that runs along the harbor. But you can imagine the life and look at the architecture of the buildings. Everything is absolutely beautiful. There are palaces all around. The commercial center by far is a beautiful building as well. But let's go visit the church very quickly of San Francisco and let's view a bronze statue, a very special bronze statue in front of the church. Come on. And right there in the far distance you can see the terminal of the harbor of Havana and that's where the Spanish galleons would come to on their way to Spain from the Indies. That's the Lonja del Comercio that we saw, and here's a couple of other beautiful buildings. Now, right behind me, right here, is the Church of San Francisco de Assis, built in the beginning of the 1600s. You have to pay two dollars to enter the church, unfortunately. But right outside the church, there is a bronze statue, quite possibly one of the most popular sites here in Havana. And this statue is of a character that roamed the streets of Havana in the 1950s, discussing politics, religion, and all sorts of other subjects with the people of Havana. He was na named the Caballero de Paris. So people come here to take their photographs and to hold his beard right there. And here's Old Havana's most eclectic 
square this is Plaza Vieja this is the old square here in Havana Vieja in old Havana it includes a mixture of buildings with a baroque architectural style as you can see right there in front of us and some buildings from the 1930s with the art deco style like the ones that you see here this uh, square was first laid out around 1560 to be used by the Spanish for military practice and exercises now remember a few minutes ago we saw the uh, square of San Francisco de Assis and the church of San Francisco de Assis well the monks of that square were complaining of the noise of the market remember there was a huge market there by the harbor and the authorities moved the market here sometime around 1610 or 1620 now this is the most lively square of Havana you will find many bars and restaurants here good selection of food if you want to eat this is the place to come to and it's not expensive for ten dollars you can have a very nice meal so, as you are walking around the old town of Havana Habana Vieja keep your eyes upwards and enjoy the architecture of these magnificent buildings there are hundreds of them here in old Havana they have survived since they were built during the 1700s look at the front of this one this one dates from 1760 and as I said there is hundreds of these buildings just walk around stop look look upwards and enjoy the views and take lots and lots of photographs and uh, this is one of the most beautiful streets here in old Havana this is the street of Mercaderes this is where all the souvenir and art shops are located at and in between the uh, square of the arms and the new square Plaza Vieja there's this small park that you see here if you need to take a break from walking around this wonderful part of Havana come here find a bench take a seat and enjoy the views of this beautiful fountain here and if you find one of the elegant buildings here in old Havana open don't hesitate to come in and to admire its architecture and its interior this is the four-star Hotel Raquel look at the marble columns here it reminds you of a bygone area from the 1920s the front man would allow you inside to take a few photographs to enjoy the interior look at this remember these elevators right there they're ones with a double set of doors marble statues beautiful reception desks now look at this bar it looks as if it just came out of the 1930s 
Now let's go and check out the interior of another hotel here at the old part of Havana. This is the Hotel Florida built in 1885. Here's the central courtyard. As you can see with beautiful architecture. Let's walk to the center of the courtyard and let's look above to the second floor right there. Beautiful, isn't it? Now there are many more places that you can visit and enjoy in old Havana. You can see how friendly everybody is. I asked, they tell me here if I can videotape the uh, haircut. He said yes. And here we are. This is life in old Havana. One block east from Plaza Vieja we find this very historic railway car. It was built in the United States in 1900 and it was shipped to Cuba in 1912. It acted as the presidential railway car until Fidel Castro's days. It was the first railway car in Cuba that used air conditioning. The fans would blow air over dry ice to cool down the inside. There are over 50 specialized museums here in the old city of Havana. Here's a view of a couple of them. Take your time and walk around the old town of Havana and enjoy there are many, many museums. Here's a view of Museo de la Farmacia Habanera. This is the Museum of Pharmacy in Havana. It was created in 1886 by the Catalan Jose Sara, and it has now turned into a museum with beautiful wooden shelving everywhere. Entrances for free by the way, so make sure you find it and you come here. If you go to the back, there's a wonderful museum, unfortunately all in Spanish. And uh, if you really get into the mood of learning more about the revolution, Come to the Museum of the 28th of September here on Obispo Road. This is the ground floor. You can walk around and learn more about the events of this critical chapter in Cuba's, in Cuba's history. Okay, I'm now on the eastern bank of the river of Havana. On the left side you can see the port of Havana with the cruise ships and directly in front of me is Habana Vieja, the old city of Havana. Now I'm going to turn around and we're going to look at the beautiful statue of Christ. This is Cristo de la Habana. This is Christ of Havana. This is a beautiful 53 meter in height marble statue erected in 1958 to bring luck to the president of Cuba, Batista. It consists of 68 pieces of beautiful Italian marble. And about a kilometer and a half directly north from the statue of Christ, we reach the northernmost point of the river of Havana. And here we find the magnificent fort and castle of Del Moro. Construction started in 1589 and it was completed in 1630. 
and the purpose of this fort was to protect the entrance to the harbor of Havana. That's because in 1555 the city was sacked by French pirates and thus the construction of this fort by the Spanish. So as you walk around the old town of Havana, make sure you stop in one of the famous bars. This is La Bodequita del Medio, certainly one of the most famous bars here in old Havana. Stop here for a drink and enjoy the music. There's always a crowd around here. There are many funny incidents that can happen to you here in Cuba. As a matter of fact, here's one of them. If you go to a Cuban restaurant, they will ask you where you're from. And the reason they ask you is that uh, when they deliver the food, there's a little flag of your country on the plate. Well, I've been coming to the same restaurant here on Plaza Vieja in the old square. This is the La Vitrola restaurant. And there's always the same waitress that serves this side of the restaurant where I'm sitting at. She's very young, early 20s, and I always tell her I'm in the U.S. So for the last three days, she brings my food with a little American flag. This morning, she didn't ask me at all. She went, got my food, brought it to me, and this is what was on my plate. The Cuban flag. And uh, here's another fort for you to see if you have time here in Old Havana. This is the Castillo de San Salvador de la Punta. It was completed in 1600 and it's easy to find. Just walk along the waterfront directly north from the Castillo de la Real Frueza that you saw earlier in this video. It will cost you two pesos to go inside this fort, but if you don't have time, don't bother paying. Just walk around it and enjoy the architecture. And right across from this fort, you will see the beautiful fort of Del Moro across the river, right there in the far distance. And of course, a visit to Old Havana cannot be complete unless you experience a walk along the waterfront of Havana. I would suggest that you start your walk from Castillo de la Real Frueza and walk directly north until you reach the point where you can see the Fort of Del Moro on the other side of the river and the fort of San Salvador on this side. The whole walk is about a kilometer in length and it should take you about half an hour. And in every place that you go to here in Old Havana you're going to enjoy the Cuban music. There is music everywhere. Some of the shows are really beautiful and enjoyable. say different. Around 
the neighborhood of Plaza Vieja, of the old square here in the old city of Havana, you're going to find a lot of beautiful art shops where they sell many interesting paintings. Here's a view of one of the shops just north from Plaza Vieja. <laughs> This guy is for sale for fifty dollars, and the rest of them, this guy that you just saw, he's selling them for about thirty to thirty-five dollars a piece. They're actually beautiful. They're very, very colorful. These are the antique cars. Of Havana in beautiful colors.